Hello, my name is Jane and I'm currently restarting my alternate day fasting journey. Uh, this is week one. Uh, I'll be telling you, I'll be showing you what I'm eating for today. Uh, I'm currently just over 41 hours in um, and I'm just going to be eating in a minute. Uh, so, so far it's been good. Uh, the first day is always going to be hard for me because my body is trying to get used to this. But then again, I've done this before and it's worked for me, so I know I can't do it. Um, and so I've also had blood results from my doctor. I did HB1AC, that's to check uh, my diabetes, whether I'm diabetic or not. Oh, it was part of a bigger blood, blood test. I did not just do it for that. And my number was 37, which is quite good because pre-diabetes is 42. And, uh, and to 48 and if you're over 48 then you're diabetic so my number is 37 which is really good I am five below pre-diabetes this is great for me uh, I don't know specifically where why I'm there I don't know if it's because of OMAD or it's because of my general way of eating but that is good news for me anyway I'll show you what I'm going to be eating today and if you do like this kind of content please consider uh, subscribing and turning on the notification bell um, I'll show you what I'm going to eat now so I'm breaking my fast with a soup uh, it's been in my freezer it's broccoli and cauliflower soup made with bone broth um, this is the entire quantity I'll be having I'll then be having uh, some oats I'll show you in a minute Got to mention i'm currently 41 hours and 15 minutes in my fasting uh so uh i did clean fasting up to 24 hours and then i had two cans of pop that was last night yesterday afternoon um i've uh, been having coffee black coffee as well as uh, what are they called fruity tea with no added sweetness uh, so uh, I'll just show you my oats as well now. Yeah, my oats are meant to be overnight oats, but I think I put too much liquid. There's one tablespoon of peanut butter. There's half a cup of oats. I got chia seeds. That's one and a half teaspoons, no, tablespoons. And one and a half tablespoons of sesame seeds. And I think it was like one cup of... Um, frozen mango and i think the frozen mangoes made it too wet so i'm gonna put this in the microwave for three minutes and make it into a porridge but i'll also be adding my two bananas in and that will be uh my first meal i'll be showing you later when i have my second and final meal and so that's everything i'm eating today i'm also going to be having myself a cup of coffee with milk uh, and then that will mark the end of my eating window, which is just shy of three hours long. And then I will be starting my fasting as soon as I'm done with my cup of coffee. So I find that the first week is always the hardest. But once uh, I'm over with the first week, it gets easier. But I'm also trying to be more sensitive with what I eat in terms of nutrients. Sorry, there's my child. Sorry about that. As I was saying, uh, after one week or so, my hormones tend to normalize uh, and then it's not much of a struggle. But I'm also trying to be sensitive to the kind of nutrients I eat. I want to eat more beans. I want to eat a healthier diet. I would also like to do clean fasting. But at the moment, I'm only doing clean fasting to around 24 hours when uh, I would eat on a normal diet. Um, uh, the main goal for next week, which is week two, is to intake more water and eat healthier. So that's the goal. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, comment, uh, comment and subscribe. And see you next week.